technically not starting this live for another, you know, 20 seconds, but just please notice this sign. Dogs must be leashed from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Do you know how many people ignore that? Let their dogs run willy-nilly. I try to be respectful and respect the rules. I'm weird that way. I try to respect the rules. You know? Oh, hey. I'm looking, I'm seeing tweets rolling. Sorry. So, good morning, guys. Uh, we are live on the 17th of October. Could start raining any second, so this could end abruptly. Sorry in advance. Um, hey, Smokes, let's walk a little bit. We've already been out. We're on our way back home. I'm going to feed these guys and feed myself. Um, it's so nice to walk in the park, reconnect with nature. It's so good for us as human beings. Uh, some handsome walking toward me. I'm going to try not to look back. Um, so reconnecting with nature. has got this little patch of pine trees over here in this little piece of the park. I love it. Um, I was noting earlier on my Instagram live, uh, leaves are starting to change. Uh, like the green is not seeing many colors yet in the trees, like foliage kind of stuff. But um the green is starting to fade. It's, the, it's not that s- vibrant summer green. It's starting to, yeah. You catch them adrift. <laughs> um, so, yeah, connecting with nature here with my granimals. There's Lenore. She had a bunch of stuff done at the vet yesterday, and then they're smoky. They're all fine. It's just like regular checkup stuff. So, that's all good. Um, come on, Lenore. And so I'm going to feed them and then feed myself. What is for breakfast this morning, or I should say lunch, because we're creeping up on the nooner. Um, I am going to be having, which is actually my favorite thing to make for breakfast lately, aside from oatmeal. Uh, non-dairy yogurt, which is like Fogurt. <laughs> uh, the brand is called So Delicious. It's a coconut milk-based yogurt. Um, unsweetened vanilla. It's delicious. It's got the texture of like yo play, you know. It's basic. I'm basic. Um, and with that, I have Goline Crunch, Cashy's Goline Crunch. Delicious. I throw in some raisins, some fresh blueberries, chia seeds, and honey. And honey. It's delicious. So, Cashy's Go Lean Crunch mixed in with So Delicious Unsweetened Vanilla Yogurt, coconut milk based. Uh, and then we sprinkle in some chia seeds, fresh blueberries, raisins, and um, honey. Yeah. Sometimes if I have like raspberries, guys, come on, enough. Uh, sometimes we have uh, raspberries on hand. I'll do that, but it's usually blueberries. Those keep much longer in the fridge anyway. And they were on. They were. It was a two for one special at Fresh Direct yesterday. So that got delivered yesterday. Delicious, delicious. Can't wait. Um, people often ask me what I feed the dogs. They get a mix. They get a. Um, you know, it's very healthy. They have a frozen raw. Their food is half frozen raw half uh kibble like it's a good kibble like it's refined it's nice it's not like you know i spend money on it not it's not an extraordinary amount but they get good food they eat very well very healthy we're very healthy eaters in this house i'll tell you that but look at the park look at people on there very busy on the bikes this morning look at this it's a full crowd scene leaves are falling yeah so, yeah, it's a nice Monday morning. Like handsome runners trotting by. Hello to you in the Netherlands. Thanks for checking in. Um, again, I often think like I should do this on YouTube and start developing an audience on YouTube because the quality of the video is so much better. Instagram sucks. Twitter live video quality wise sucks. YouTube seems to have figured out the technology. Now walk right into me, people. Like just the crowd of six people, just so much better when you just like. Am I in the others? Like, (laughs) 
you love how people just they just walk right into you like you're not even there like i feel like nicole kidman and the others like what i am alive right i'm not dead uh Oh, I'll show you the, uh, the reservoir for a hot second. You guys, come here. I know. Oh, my gosh. I'm telling you. Uh, owners of two or more dogs would understand. Like, to get them to change course on anything is like turning around the fucking Titanic. One dog is easy. He's like, we're going this way. You get the one. But when you get two, they co-conspire because they both have different agendas. You know? And the first thing on their list of priorities is to pull my arm out of the fucking socket. <laughs> the second priority is to chase something that smells interesting. And it's generally never in the same spot, so they're going in opposite directions. That's two dogs for you. Anyway, um, I'm going to show you the reservoir because it's cool. Come on, smokes, we're going home. Almost going home. The wind is blowing. Like, look at, look at, like, okay, just to give you a little taste. Um,. Uh, let's see, where do I change directions? I'm losing it. Oh, good. Hey, Soulful just confirmed uh, that the quality is much better here than Instagram. That's good to know. Let's see, I bailed out of Twitter because of the musky smell. This boomer doesn't insta. Nice to see. <laughs> That's clever, Jay. Thank you. Oh, someone's having beef curry tonight. Daniel, it's 3.45 or 4.45. What is that? No, wait. It's 5.45 where you are. So what does that mean? Are you in... You're in Europe. Can't figure that out. Uh, unsweetened vanilla is my new handle. Conveys my adventurous and spontaneity. <laughs> I like that. Um, I'm trying to turn the camera around. How do I do... Oh, here we go. I'm learning the YouTube. I, I like the quality of TikTok's videos, but you can't save them. All right, Smokey, come here. I'm sorry. You're going to have to maybe not lift a leg for a second. I can't go on the path around the reservoir because it's no dogs allowed. And I, unlike many of my fellow dog owners in the city, I respect the rules. But look at this. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, there is some color. I see some red happening on the leaves in the distance. Look at that. Um... So here's our beautiful reservoir. It's a nice, even if you're not a runner, get yourself a nice coffee or a tea, whatever your jam. And, um, you know, have a walk around. A little trivia for people. Um, oh, thanks, Jay. A little trivia for people. This reservoir does not power our faucets. This is the, our drinking water and showering water and all that comes from upstate. But isn't that lovely? And so the trees are starting to change a little bit, too. So, yeah. And there's our reservoir. Reservoir. <laughs> um, what else is everyone up to? Let's see, I failed on Twitter. Someone else is doing beef curry tonight. I don't do the beef. I don't do the meats. I did see, what is it, in the New York Times today? Because I get a lot of news. Um, come on, guys. I get a lot of news with morning newsletters. I find those like really terrific. And so um, I subscribe newsletter wise to the New York Times, The Guardian, Financial Times, Washington Post, Business of Fashion. I'm forgetting something. I forget what else. New York Magazine, New Yorker. All good stuff. Really great sources. But anyway, something in the Times today that looked, it was like this. It was like this. Um, it, was in, it would be in the New York Times cooking section today. It was a sautéed, like, tofu, and the tofu was marinated or braised in, so, like, soy. I forget what it was braised in. It looked amazing. Because some people do tofu right. There was a Thai restaurant near me when I lived in Hell's Kitchen, and they did this sautéed tofu. It was, like, a little crispy on the outside. They did it right. Yeah. Um, anyway, so that's it. I'm just trolling around with the dogs here. Um, we're going to hit the gym later. I can't wait. I might not do the bike outside because we're going to get rain any minute. At least it feels like it. We're supposed to get thunderstorms today. Uh, so I might go to the gymnasium. Um, and do that. 
because I usually I like I prefer to ride in real time and space in my real bicycle on my Brompton, my trusty gorgeous fucking gorgeous C line Brompton with six speeds. Although I like that P line with the four speeds, it's got a little titanium in the frame and it's a little lighter. You know I love a Brompton, kids. It's a real unlock for the city. Um. You do your Twitter Republican parodies rants in the evening and in the streets, never in the park. Why is that? That's a great question. No reason. Oh, I know why. I do usually generally do them at night. And also when I'm with the dogs, I don't, you know what, Daniel, I got to think about that. There's no good reason why I do it. Um, there's no good reason why I don't do it in the park. Also, like there, there's a lot of my voice will carry more in the park and also at night. On the streets, there are less people around, and so I feel like, you know, you never have total privacy, but I can let go of the self-consciousness of trying to not disturb people as they walk by me, because sometimes when I do those videos, I can be loud, so um, I just, it's, it's, a, it's a matter of respect, really. I'm not, I don't care if anybody sees me doing it, like, I have no shame on that score, I don't care about that. Um, it's just, it's, I, I, you know, the park is a special place and I can get, sometimes get loud. <laughs> Does that make any sense? Unlike the dicks who run helicopters over our city who have zero respect for us. But on the sidewalks and the streets, especially at night, it just feels a little more conducive to that. I think I just expressed what I've innately felt when I make those videos. Yes, NYC is my stage. It is my home. I love this city. I was just talking about on Instagram how Richard E. Grant, the actor, the English actor, um, like them a lot, by the way. Thank you very much. I like doing them. I like making people laugh. You know, it's, it's people often tell me that it's been great for them, like makes them laugh, gives them a break. It's, it's performative therapy for me because it helps me get some things off my chest. And it's like a great... Um, when I do those videos, it's like a very therapeutic exhale for me. So yeah, I've, everybody wins and people are nice to support the work on my Patreon or here on YouTube or whatever. Um, and I appreciate that. It, it enables me to keep doing it. I see it as my job. Uh, what else was I saying? Oh, Richard E. Grant. I want to leave you with this cause I'm about to get out of the park here. Um, Richard E. Grant, the English actor, wonderful, wonderful human being. He, uh, you would know him from, uh, perhaps most recently from Can You Ever Forgive Me, the Melissa McCarthy movie where she played that woman, real uh, true story, who was forging letters or notes from writers and selling to make money. She's committing fraud. Um, Melissa McCarthy played her and Richard E. Grant was her sort of sidekick in a way, drinking buddy, co-conspirator. 